Good day everyone. Our topic for today is all about application of rational equation and inequalities. So let's start. Let's start with work related problem. Sabi dito, if the first person does a job in time A and the second person does a job in time B and together they can do a job in time t, in yung total. So we can use the work rate equation. Ito yung ating work rate equation. 1 over a, ito yung job per time a, plus 1 over b, job per time b, is equals to 1 over t, or job per time t, or yung team. So let's have an example. Gamitin natin itong formula para mas maintindihan natin. Number 1. Jeanette can paint a house in 15 hours. Dan can paint it in 30 hours. How long will it take them working together? We have the solution. So we have 1 over time ni Jeanette plus 1 over time ni Dan mag -isa, equals to 1 over time nila together. Together na gumagawa. Okay? Na isang trabaho. So yung time ni Jeanette na gaya niyang gawin niyan is 15 hours. So palitan natin time na kayang gawin ni Dan is 30 hours equals to 1 over x kasi hindi natin alam kung gano'n sila kung gano'n nila kabilis magawa yun together or by team now, ito ay rational equation kaya kaya natin solve yan lipat lang sa kabila equate to 0 kailangan magkakamukha ng denominator and then copy the numerator 2x plus x minus 30 is equals to 0 next, combine similar terms 3x equals to 30, divide both sides by 3, x equals to 10, therefore, it would take them 10 hours to paint a house. Okay, so this is reasonable enough. Bakit? Kasi si Jeanette nga, kaya gawin niya ng 15 hours. Si Dan, 30 hours. So, mas mababa yung 15 sa 30. Ibig sabihin, kung tutulungan pa siya, dapat ang makuha natin sa God ay mas mababa sa 15 hours. Kasi solo nga niya, kaya niyang gawin ng 15. So, kung tutulungan pa siya, so, mas mababa dapat yung makuha natin sagot sa 15. Nakuha? So, since x equals to 10, yung time nila together is 10, so, ito ay reasonable enough. So, therefore, it would take 10 hours to paint that house. And we're done. Another example tayo. Work-related pa rin. Matthew can assemble a furniture set in 5 hours. If his sister Maria helps, they can finish it in 3 hours. How long will it take Maria to do the job alone? So, ating solution. So, we have 1 over 5. Time ni Matthew plus 1 over M. Bakit M lang? Kasi wala naman yung, hindi naman ibinigay yung time ni Maria alone. Ang ibinigay, sabi dito, if his sister Maria helps, they can finish the job in 3 hours. So, ito yung total time nila together. Yung magkasama silang gumagawa. Ito yung by team. Nakuha? Kaya, 1 over 3 to. Now, if we set up our equation, madali na siyang i-compute. Equate to 0. Same denominator. Copy the numerator. Combine similar terms. So, minus 15 both sides. Next, divide both sides by negative 2. So, m equals to 15 over 2 or 7.5. Kung gagawin ni Maria ng mag-isa, aabutin siya ng 7.5 hours para mag-assemble ng furniture. Okay? So, therefore, it would take Maria... 15 over 2 hours or 7.5 hours to assemble a furniture set. And we're done. Very simple, di ba? Now, let's have an example na walang kinalaman sa work. Though, gagamit pa rin tayo ng rational. So, halos lahat naman equation natin is rational kasi may over 1 yan. Okay. So, example number 3. Anne and Maria play tennis almost every weekend. So far, Anne has won 12 
out of 20 matches. How many matches will Anne have to win in a row to improve her winning percentage to 75%? Now, analyze muna natin yung mga given. Solve the solution. So, sabi dito, si Anne daw ay nanalo 12 out of 20 matches. 12 out of 20, ilang percentage yan? Or ilang percent yan? So, ito ay 0 0.6 in decimal at ang 0 0.6 in percent is 60 percent. So, in 12 out of 20 is just 60 percent. Kaya, ang sabi dito, how many matches will Ann have to win in a row? Sunsunod, manalo siya. Kasi, syempre, pag nananalo ka, tumataas yung percentage of winning mo. So, gano'n daw karami yung kailangan niya ipanalo para yung kanyang winning percentage is maging 75%. Now, kung mananalo siya, ang tanong dito, gano karami? So, ang gagawin natin, magdadagdag tayo ng x sa numerator. Yung x na sa na, na, numerator natin na to, ito yung naipanalo niya, na laban. Okay? Now, bakit may x na sa denominator? Kasi kung nanalo siya sa isang laban, nadagdagan din yung dami ng laban na ginawa niya. Okay? Kaya meron ding x sa denominator. Now, saan ngayon naka-equal yan dapat? Naka-equate dapat yan sa 75%. Yun yung goal natin. So, solve natin. Ito ay fraction. And 75%, convert muna natin. Ang 75% is 75 out of 100. So, big sabihin, ito ay 75 over 100. Pag sinimplify natin, 3 over 4. Now, 12 plus x over 20 plus x equals to 3 over 4. Napakadali na nito. Ito ay simple rational equation. Lipat sa kabila, gawing 0. Same denominator. Copy the numerator. Pero distribute na natin. So, 4 times 12 is 48 plus 4x minus 60 minus 3x. Like this. Combine similar terms. So, 48 minus 60 is negative 12, plus 12 both sides, magiging x is equals to 12. Therefore, I have to win 12 games in a row para tumaas yung kanyang winning percentage to 75%. Now, let us check kung tama nga ba talaga to. Um, 12 plus 12 is 24. 20 plus 12 is 32. Okay. So, divide natin. 24 over 32, pwede kayo kumamit ng calculator. Ang makukuha yung sagot dyan is 0 0.75. Ano yung 0 0.75 in percent? This is 75%. So, meaning, we are actually correct. So, let's move on to sample number 4. Ray and Gun play in the same soccer team. Last Saturday, Ray scored 3 more goals than Gun. But together, they scored less than 9 goals. What are the possible number of goals Ray scored? Uy, may nabasa tayong less than. So, ito ay inequality na. So, let's have the solution. So, example mo tayo si Ray sa kasigan. Unang sentence. Last Saturday, Ray scored 3 more goals than gun. Mas maraming na-score si Ray ng tatlo kumpara kay Gan. Ako ha? Kung si Gan ay nakadalawang goal, nakailan si Ray? Three more goals eh. Kung to si Gan, si Ray ay very good. Kung sumagot ka ng five. Kung si Gan naman ay naka-seven goals, nakailang goal si Ray? Very good again. So, ito ay ten goals. Paano kung si Gan ay hindi natin alam kung gano'n yung goal niya? Right? Paano kung si Gan ay naka-G goal? Ilang goal yung nagawa ni Ray? O, check mo natin yung mga unang example natin. Kung ito ay 2 naging 5, itong 5 kasi is 2 plus 3. 3 more goals. 2 plus 3. Itong 10 na to, 7 plus 3. 7 plus 3. 2 plus 3. So, ito ay G plus 3. Yun. 
ano yung una natin? Ray scored 3 more goals than Gun. So, ito na yan. So, twin G and then G plus 3. So, punta tayo sa pangalawang scenario. Na hindi natin yung unang sentence, yung pangalawa naman. Together, they scored less than 9 goals. Together. So, yung sum ng dalawa dapat ay mas mababa sa 9. So, R plus G is less than 9. So, ito ay inequality na. Yung R kasi, binigay na G plus 3. So, pwede ipalit. Substitute natin. So, G plus 3, ito yun lang yung R. Sinubstitute lang natin. Plus G is less than 9. Combine similar terms, 2G plus 3 is less than 9. Minus 3 both side, 2G is less than 6. Divide both side by 2, wala namang nagbabago yung sign, so hindi magpiplip yung ating inequality. Therefore, G is less than 3. Or, mas mababa sa 3. So, yung ating answer dyan ay mula sa negative infinity hanggang kay 3 is not counted. So, yung 3, not counted yan. Nakuha? Ang tanong, pwede mo mag-negative yung goal? Siyempre, hindi. So, ano lang yung mga posibleng maging goal ni Gun? So, Gun could have scored 0, 1, or 2 goals lang. So, hindi tataas ng 3. Pwedeng wala, isa or dalawa. Ngayon, kung si Gun ay naka-0, gano'n naman yung mas score ni Ray. So, 0 plus 3 ay 3. Kung si Gun ay naka-isang goal, si Ray ay naka-4. Kung si Gun ay naka-2 goals, si Ray ay naka-5 goals. So, therefore, Ray could have scored 3, 4, or 5 goals. And we're done. Now, let us check. Kung 3, si Ray, 0 si Gun, 3 plus 0 is 3, less than 9 yun. And that's correct. 4 plus 1 is 5, less than 9, correct pa rin. 5 plus 2, 7, less than 9 pa rin, correct pa din yan. Okay, paano kung naging 3? Kung sinama natin yung 3. Kung ito ay naka 3, siya ay naka 6. Okay, so 6 plus 3 ay 9. And 9 is not less than 9. Nakuha? So hindi na siya tama doon, magfe-fail na siya. So ang tamang sagot lang is nakascore lang si Ray ng 3, 4, and 5 goals. And we're done.